How's it going everybody? Welcome back. I have had a couple of requests for me to post the spreadsheet that I developed and used for my optimization route run that I did. Uh, I think I uploaded that last week. So this video will serve two purposes. One, I will just go through and brief, briefly walk through what it is that I developed and how you can use this spreadsheet if you are interested in optimizing any of your boss fights I suppose is the best way to put it and I'm also just throwing this out there that I have uploaded this to my new discord server I am not very well versed in discord so hopefully the link that I have in the description of this video will work if it doesn't, please let me know either on the comments of this YouTube video or if you can access the server and you can't download this file, please let me know there and I will try to figure it out. A brief note before I get into what is in this spreadsheet, uh, there's just a ton of data and it's, this spreadsheet is not all encompassing. Uh, I think there are a couple of weapons that I'm missing, mostly like non-meme we meme weapons. I don't have the Skull Lantern in here or anything like that. And I don't have any spell catalysts in here as well. Uh, I just didn't do that for the run that I did last week. For future games, like I'm working on Dark Souls 3 right now, that will have that stuff. And that spreadsheet's probably going to be a lot better in terms of what it is that will be in the spreadsheet. It's also gonna, probably going to be a lot cleaner. This this one's kind of dirty as I kind of built it out of nothing. So I have a good foundation. So it may be a little bit tough to see at the bottom, but there are tabs here. I am on the boss defenses tabs right now. Uh, this is where I have the physical standard physical slash, strike, and thrust defense for all the bosses, as well as magic, fire, and lightning. Uh, this is only the new game defenses, so if you need to grab a new game plus defense or higher, there are other resources out there for that. Uh, I will have a link to this video down here as well whenever you see this. I just don't have it yet, obviously, because I have not uploaded this video yet. For the second tab, we have the Weapon AR. Uh, I, I unfortunately don't have this built in, uh, that being an AR calculator, into this spreadsheet. So if you are wanting to do this, you are unfortunately going to have to go to a separate Weapon AR calculator website, plug in your stats, and get the ARs both one-handed, two-handed. For this one specifically, this is the Uninfused tab, so don't enter in any magic, fire, or lightning damage except for if you are using a weapon that has innate elemental damage such as the demon spear which is split between physical and lightning. Uh, for this one I just have the dagger uh, and I also have that for some of the elemental infusion ones as well just to give you an idea of what it is the spreadsheet actually does. So if we go into this third tab, the DPS uninfused, there is a ton of information. Um, these four numbers up here, I guess it's eight numbers, these are animation key codes that I used, so in DS Animation Studio, if you look at, for example, for a dagger, or sorry, uh, I'll do a short sword instead, for a short sword, if you find animations, I believe they start with 23, let me open that up here while I am recording, so I can give you a good idea of what it is. So I have this open up here. It's probably a little bit tough to see, but just so you can see where some of this metadata came from. So for a short sword, let's see, for a short sword, it's kind of tough to see, but um, it has a, a 23 here for the attack animations. That, that's what we're looking at. In DS Animation Studio, there is this TAE, not sure what that stands for, but A23.TAE, that's where you would look. And then for the one-handed R1 attacks, we have a key code of uh, underscore 3000. So in DS Animation Studio, I can play this animation. So let's close this. And you can see that is the one-handed R1 attack. To get some of the frame data, this is where I pulled it from as well. 
There are a couple of things that I looked at. There is this one. There's a jump table code. I'm not a programmer, so I'm not exactly sure what this is called. But for a right-handed attack animation cancel, that is how many frames from the start of the animation it takes to transition into the second R1 right-handed attack animation. And then down here there is a stop movement animation cancel that is anything uh, that's at the number of frames it takes after you start the animation into when you can move your character or in this case dodge roll so for everything that I did in this spreadsheet all of the frame data only takes into account the combination attacks and only it takes into account the chained attacks so uh, none of these values in here are just a single, like for example, one-handed R1 attack. So if you are curious, none of these, I won't say none of them, but most of the numbers in the frames, it's not a straight doubling or halving rather to go from a, a an attack combination down to just a single attack because typically speaking, the number of frames it takes to advance into the dodge roll animation is a bit longer than it takes to advance into that second attack combination. So that's why it's, it's again a little bit tough to see up here in the formula bar, but this is 15 plus 19 times 2. I'm just multiplying by 2 because all of those animations are coded to 30 frames. So to get 60 frames, we just multiply by 2. And that, uh, that's just how we do it. So, for example, 15 seconds is the first animation. That's how many frames it takes from the start of the first right-handed R1 into the second right-handed R1. And then the 19 seconds is that second right-handed R1 into the dodge roll. So a lot of numbers there, but uh, that's kind of the general gist of how I derived the frames for these various weapons. There are also, also a couple that have special animations or special movesets. Um, you can find those again if you go into the A for this one because it is 53. Some of the animations will be coded to A53 underscore 3000 or whatever attack you're using. But a lot of the weapons that have special attack animations don't always have special animations for each type of attack. For example, the broadsword, you can see that the one-handed R1 combo matches the short sword and long sword, but the one-handed R2 combo is a little bit shorter. So that one, for example, only has special animations for the one-handed R2 attack combination. Uh, moving on, we have the speed. This is just the number of seconds based on the number of frames. Uh, some more metadata here, number of attacks, number of attacks, this is just raw number. So uh, don't, you don't mess with any of this. Same thing with the AR, this just pulls from the weapon AR spreadsheet, which is why that's the only reason the daggers are in there. For buffable weapons, the only one you want to change is this, this column or this cell right here, this is A15. You have to use either magic, fire, or lightning. And then whatever one you change it to should match based on your buff and the boss's defense. So I have Calamite up here right now. And if I have a magic buff specified, every one of these cells below it will be magic. So if I were to change that to fire instead, you can see it changes everything. And I didn't really show it, but for fire AR, we got 781 right here. And if I go back to magic, you can see it goes down a little bit to 779. Um, and that's just because the fire defense for Calamite is a little bit lesser than the magic defense. So that's kind of what we expect. Uh, for the buffs that you want to use, you want to enter in the number. Right now I just have 150 as kind of placeholders. Um, you'll have to calculate these using the spell buff and miracle or sorcery. Um, for magic or lightning. Uh, fire, I think uh, the only one is charcoal pine resin, which I th think is a hundred. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but whatever that is, that's what you use. Um, generally speaking, for optimization purposes, it's never going to win out against lightning or magic. That's just, it's just not. Um, this stuff, this is all metadata based on the weapon. Yeah, we have motion values for all these combinations. 
the specific type of damage that you're doing for the physical portion. So most daggers have slash, there are a couple that have some thrusting attacks. You go down a list and it's it's kind of all the same. Secondary motion value and type. Uh, this will pull for weapons that have innate infusions on this weapon AR uninfused spreadsheet. Again, that's for anything that has innate infusions, such as, again, the Demon Spear that already has lightning attack, and it can't be... I'll just turn my uh, music off in the background. That can't be infused, but it already has innate infusion. I'll, I'll get to those spreadsheets in just a second. If we keep going on here, we have base damage. So this is where the calculation comes into effect. So based on the enemy and the weapon, the attack rating of your weapon, and the attack type uh, between physical attack and then as well as uh, elemental attack, which is actually in this next column, secondary MV and type, it will run through the damage calculation for you. Uh, and you can see the damage formula, it's super long. And that does it for every single attack. Um, again, I don't have basically anything except for the dagger, so all these cells are unfilled. And then for the uninfused one only, this also gives you the calculation for your weapon buff damage. Um, so that's kind of the basic rundown of this spreadsheet. For the red tier stone ring and power within, these are really the only two buffs. You could, if you wanted to, also use the Dragon Torso Stone. You would just change this to, uh, I think it would be 1.5 times 1.3, and it should give you the correct calculation. But if you are not using either of these, just make sure to change them to 1. You see right now I have them both active. Again, my AR is 779. If I changed it back to 1, it drops down all the way to 383. So you can see that 50% attack increase is uh, pretty, pretty substantial. The only other thing to note here is that there are a couple of uh, auxiliary effects, I guess is what they're called in the game, or at least that's what I'm going to call them. You have Abyssal, Occult, and Black Knight. I'm pretty sure the only thing that has extra damage against Abyss-type enemies is the Great Sword of Artorius and not the Cursed One. Could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Uh, if you are using this weapon and this weapon alone against the four kings, your damage would be multiplied by 1.2. So I don't have it set up, but if I had, if for example the dagger was a black knight weapon and we're facing off against a demon, you see it doesn't update automatically, so I just typically do this off to the side, and there you see my damage would go up a little bit. But as uh, best I can tell, those are only applied after your damage calculation. And I think they might only be applied to the physical portion of your weapon, which obviously doesn't complicate things because, as best I can tell, there are no uh, occult weapons that can be buffed with a weapon buff. Uh, I, they, they already have innate magical attack. Black Knight weapons obviously can't be buffed, except for with tumble buffs, and I haven't really explored those, so I guess I don't really know if that's the case. And then the uh, the Abyssal. Um, I think this weapon does... I think this does physical damage only. Could be wrong on that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... No, I think it does magic. Uh, I guess I'm not 100% sure on that one, uh, specifically if your final damage is calculated and then multiplied by 1.2 if it's just a physical portion. I haven't really run any tests on that. Uh, so if somebody knows then uh, this spreadsheet is wrong or this statement is wrong, please let me know. Um, I think I mentioned it, but uh, again, there's so much data in here that I would not be surprised if some of this is incorrect. In fact, I would, I would be surprised if it's all correct. So again, if you find any misinformation or anything that's wrong, uh, please let me know so I can update it. I do want to make it so that this is a little bit better, but I am working on some other stuff right now, so it's not top of priority. Moving on, similarly, we have Weapon AR with Magic Infusion. I'm using a dagger with the enchanted infusion at uh, 50 stats all around, which gives me a AR one-handed and two-handed of uh, 120 for physical and then 208 for magic. And then uh, this, this is kind of the same thing here. The only difference is that the buffs, I have them set to zero. Um, so again, you, you're not getting any buffs. Even if you do change that, 
shouldn't matter because this spreadsheet at the very end should have all of this deleted out so there's nothing that actually is being added on to your weapon value um, so again this this kind of pulls this, this kind of pulls from these numbers so again you see that 120 and 208 which correspond up here to the 120 and 208 and then you can see when I go over to the secondary MV uh, we got magic for my damage type here uh, base damage increase the some of the cell column widths um, but if you go over into secondary damage you can see it it does calculate that as well and you can see it's you know 41 damage on on a hit which is pretty bad I mean you can you can really just tell at 50 stats all around I mean even just using a pretty weak buff of say a uh, lightning pine resin and a regular dagger you can see how the DPS is just way higher I mean it's it's pretty bad all around for uh, infused weapons enchanted isn't very good and daggers obviously aren't very strong but that's that's kind of the gist of it same thing with fire um, again you'll just need to put in the appropriate values in these cells this is with a chaos infusion and 10 humanity so we got a little bit of an increase there yeah, this, this AR, or excuse me, the DPS is a little bit higher, I think, than the magic infused one. No, I guess 248 versus 248. So it's it's roughly the same. That's interesting. I, I, I'll double check that before I send this out, but uh, that is kind of interesting. Yeah, it, it does look correct. So that's, uh, and then we have lightning as well. Um, and there you see lightning is quite a bit lower. Uh, I also have this. This is what I use. This just gives some data on where things are acquired from and where some of the gates are or how many different materials. This is what I was using when I was routing my run initially. And then once I kind of crossed into Sen's Fortress, I figured out some of the be better DPS weapons. So that's, that's a very, very basic rundown of this spreadsheet. Um, it's a lot of numbers. Hopefully it makes sense. Again, generally speaking, the only things that you're going to want to change are going to be the boss defenses that you are going up against. If you want to change the AR of your weapon in the appropriate spreadsheet, I would typically advise to use an uninfused weapon with a weapon buff, but if you are doing infusions, make sure to go to one of those spreadsheets as well. And then the only other thing that you really want to focus on is changing the red tear stone ring or power within. Again, if you are not using them, be sure to change it down to one. That way the calculation should be correct. And then again, finally, if you do notice any errors in this, feel free to reach out so that uh, I can update them. I hope to have a better one at some point again, but uh, I'm just not high priority right now. So. Thanks for watching. Um, just about 3,000 subscribers when I'm putting this out, so thank you all for the support. If you have any questions uh, about anything specifically in this spreadsheet that are not related to errors, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll do my best. I'm not the best or most knowledgeable person uh, when it comes to Dark Souls mechanics. I feel like I have a pretty decent grasp, especially with some of the stuff I've been working on recently. Um, but I'm sure there's a bunch of other people out there in the community that will be happy to answer. Uh, you can do that again, either in the YouTube comments or on my Discord channel. So thanks for watching, and have a great one.